Hello guys and welcome to part two for setting up an Android emulator. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, accepting the SDK manager license agreements. Then we're going to be looking at the system images for various emulators, right? And then we're going to be installing some of the platform tools. Um, there might be some things that we might be missing inside of our, our Android uh, directory. So we might need to fix those. All right, so this is where we're going to do those uh, in this video. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to just go ahead and type in uh, SDK manager. If you follow part one of this video, you should be able to just type in SDK manager and hit enter. And what it's going to do is it's going to try to update. It's going to say warning um, repositories.cfg could not be loaded. All right, so what we want to do is actually want to go ahead and find that folder. So that's going to be under whatever directory it states right here. So mine's going to be under users, Tangang, and Android, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the shift key here, right click, and it's going to say open git bash here, right? So I'm going to go ahead and open git bash here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in touch, right? And I want to type in uh, repositories. dot c f g all right and hit enter and what it's going to do is just going to go ahead and create that uh file here all right now i'm going to close this i'm going to go back here and i'm going to do that again all right and you can see that we don't want to get that error i'm just going to go ahead and clear this all right next thing you want to do is want to type in uh sdk manager dash dash and then we'll do uh, licenses I should have spelled that right I hit enter all right it's gonna say uh, that there are six packages you, you haven't accepted yet you want to accept the licensing just hit yes hit enter hit yes hit enter hit yes hit enter hit yes hit enter you have to accept everything all right so it's gonna say that all packages have been accepted now you're good to go so next what we want to do is we actually want to look at uh, our system images, right? So this is going to be for API 26. You can do install for API 20, um, for API 27, API 28, whatever API you want to pick. Okay. You can do that. But first what we can do is we can still just run. Let's just go and do, um, let's do a list here. All right. Let's see what it comes up with. All right. So here you can see all of the things that we we'll normally have when we look at the uh, SDK manager, right? Such as the um, Android SDK platform tools, the NDK, CMake, all this cool stuff that we would normally find, constraint layouts, Google Play services, uh, they are all here. They have their perspective uh, packages that you can then use to install, um, you know, whatever you're trying to install from there. But reading this right here, uh, took me a little bit of time to actually figure out how to set up the, um, the Android tools and how to set up the images and all that stuff for a specific API. You know, when you use the um, GUI, it's a lot easier to just say, I want this, I want that, I want that, and install it. But when you're dealing with the uh, terminal, everything has its own packages on hierarchy that you actually have to go ahead and install. So what we're gonna do is pretty much just go ahead and I already have everything set up in such a way where I could just copy and paste it so I don't have to do a lot of typing. I'm going to have a detailed tutorial underneath this video so you can go ahead and um, just copy and paste it. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, just, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And that's my niece shouting right there. And her mom, Ctrl Z. And I'm going to do uh, Ctrl C. All right. And I'm just going to paste this here. All right. And I'm going to hit enter. And what it's going to do is go ahead and fetch that specific. Um, packages that we have for this, that images that we have for this specific API. All right. And this is going to go ahead and go through that process. So I'm just going to pause the video and come back when this is done. All right. So it's currently at 77%, as you guys can see. So it's still going and still unzipping all of the images in that specific uh, package. All right. So I'm still going to wait. Once this is done, I'm going to come back. All right, as you guys can see, it's completely done. It's 100% done, it's unzipped. So I wanna show you guys how we can easily, uh, how you guys can pick 
your own system images okay so just go up top and you guys can see here that we have a system image android 28 android wear uh, as, as such right so all you need to do pretty much is just come over here let's say that we want the uh, 86 and 64 bit uh, images right we could just copy that let's go for um let's see here let's go for uh, this part right here so all we have to do is, do is copy this right so we're going to copy that and then we're going to come down here and we're just going to say uh, SDK manager right and then we do the same thing here in double quotes and control V paste it and just close this and make sure that you have no spaces there are no spaces in between the quotations all right or any spaces in between this or else it will not work and hit enter and you guys can see that uh, pretty much you know, we're not uh, fetching images for Android API 27. So <laughs> I'm going to have to wait again and let this finish out. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, then go through the other parts, right? So let me just pause this right now and let it get finished. All right, so that is finally done. So now all we need to do is install the uh, platform tools for a specific uh, API level. So we're going to go back into our um, notepad here and we're just going to go ahead and copy this and paste it. So this is going to be for API 26. All right. So you can just change this to API 27, API 28, and it will still work. Okay. So go ahead, control, paste, and hit enter. And this is going to go ahead and install all of the platform tools. All right and i don't think it should take very long actually this is this goes very fast so i'm just gonna go ahead and wait um while we're waiting let's take care of one more thing okay so i told you guys that eventually when you install the uh, system images it does create an emulator folder for you that you would have to add to your path so you can be able to then run your um emulator right your emulator on the uh, you can start your emulator pretty much right However, if you don't have that set up as the first um, directory in the um, in the path, what it's going to do is going to go into the uh, into the uh, tools uh, uh, folder and it's going to try to use a substitute there, and it's going to crash. All right, I didn't know about this earlier. Eventually, I figured it out, but it took me a cool like 10, 15 minutes to figure that out. So, saving you some time here. All right, so what we want to do is we want to go back into um, where we installed, um, where we uh, we're gonna go back into our C drive, pretty much. So, just uh, just type in uh, this PC, all right, and go into our C drive and go into the uh, SDK Windows now. And here you're gonna see a new folder created called Emulators. All right, click on that and just copy this. Now hit. Uh, just copy it or you can hit control C all right now what we want to do is we want to go into uh, we want to right click on this PC and go into the properties again all right and I'm going to go ahead and click on advanced system settings and I'm going to go ahead and pull this here go into environmental variables and find path again and hit the edit um, button and you can see that they had the emulator here so what we can do is that we can go ahead and delete this and create a new one, all right? And I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this here. All right, so like I told you guys, this emulator has to go before the tools um, directory. So we have to push this up, all right? Or else you're gonna have issues running the emulator command, um, which we were gonna, which we find here, uh, which is gonna be the emulator.exe, all right? So I'll click OK and click OK and then um you should be good to go i'm just going to pause this for a little bit and hopefully my knees doesn't scream again and i'll be back all right sorry guys for the noise hopefully i have it contained for a little bit um so once we've uh, set up the path for it we can just go ahead and use the emulators command so let's try this out to see if it actually works now so i'm gonna say uh emulator and hit enter and you guys can see it says uh no avd uh, specified so it's use at foo or use dash avd foo to launch a virtual um uh named foo right device named foo so uh, 
um, I do have one ABD uh, set up right now on this machine, right? And um, what we can do is that we can use the AVD manager. So you can just type in a uh, AVD manager. We're gonna be using we're gonna be using this to create uh, images in the next tutorial. Hit enter. You guys can see that uh, this replaces the Android um, command that we're used to seeing with the SDK manager. So the new SDK manager, SDK manager twenty six, I think. Um, Change the way things were created before you use I use Android and then you say um, create and then you know to get everything done but they've changed it now okay so uh, we'll be able to um, pretty much just be say things like uh, AVD manager and then what we want to do is want to go ahead and list uh, AVD okay so if you list AVD I should have one uh, virtual machine um, show up which is the same one that I created all right and if I say uh, emulators for emulator dash a v d and then type in same we should go ahead and we should load that so let's see what this is saying it's saying error okay so if it's showing this that means that uh, our emulator wasn't set up right okay so what we have to do is let me go ahead and exit here and restart this and see if that takes effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and say CMD again. I'm gonna pull this here. And let me try that again. So I'm gonna say uh, emulator and then dash AVD and same. Let me see if that take, took effect. All right, so you guys can see that uh, we just need a restart for it to actually start working. And you guys can see that the emulator has been loaded. All right, so in the next video, we're going to be using the AVD manager to create, um, to pretty much create our own custom um, virtual machine, uh, my virtual, <laughs> virtual uh, Android uh, environment, right? And then uh, we'll be able to also go ahead and delete. Uh, we can set up a tablet. We can set up uh, a phone, um, whatever you want to set up. Pretty much uh, a wearable and all that stuff. Uh, we will be able to set that up. All right, guys. This will be it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good day. Bye-bye.